Good morning, afternoon, whatever time this gets posted. Um, I've been reading you some poetry, but um, today I'm just going to read you from the 365 Days of the Tao because I just made this other long, windy post, which you may or may not also see, depending on um, a handful of factors. But I still wanted to read you um, from my daily meditations. Again, this is 365 Days of the Tao. Um, daily meditations from Ding Ming Gao. This is something I do every day. I get up, I do yoga, I have a little breakfast, and then I read daily meditations. I think these are really cool, so I wanted to share them with you. So today, 218, the 218th day of the year. It is kind of funny when you think about it in terms of like this is the 218th day out of 365 days a year. Sorry, I just felt like I was a little wobbly, so I was trying to straighten it. So, this one is about ownership. Interesting. Um, I was just, uh, I just did another post about, like, participating in your local community. And I think taking ownership of your local community is very important. So, let's see what this meditation is. A small boy drives a hundred ducks to the lake with a tasseled stick, a mass of excited white. And now here's the author's interpretation of what that means. A small boy can command an entire flock of ducks with a slender stick. The ducks go contentedly down to the lake to play in the mud, but in the end, of course, they end up as someone's dinner. <laughs> They obey the stick because they respond to their conditioning. In truth, they don't need to obey it. They don't need to be someone's meal. As for the boy, he is doing his job, but he does not own the ducks in an ultimate sense. He exercises his power over them, and they respond, yet neither realizes that their bond is provisional. Ownership of property is only an artificial construct as well. If we can remember that ownership is something that exists only by definition, then we can give up possessiveness, defensiveness, and greed. What does it matter how much money or land you say you have? You cannot actually own it. You don't even own your own body. You're just renting it. Ultimate ownership would mean total control. You would never age. You could make it as beautiful as you wanted. You would never suffer from accidents. But the fact is that we are all in flesh that ages, decays, becomes diseased, and can be destroyed by some rather minor accident. You don't own your body. You live in a borrowed shell. Why not seek the truth that goes beyond the body? That's, that's the kind of stuff that's Tao. That almost smacks a little bit more of, like, Hinduism to me, though, than Tao. Um, yeah, and, like, I spent a lot of time with that philosophy as well. But one of the things that always really bothered me about it was this sense that we're, like, trapped in this meat prison and, like, the whole point of life is to escape. And I don't agree with that. I think that we are spirits that have chosen to come down and have this experience, the good and the bad. And it's um, trans transitional, it's transient. It's, it's a thing that doesn't last. It's a thing to just be experienced and, and enjoyed while it lasts, even the bad stuff. And then we go on to another, whatever happens after. So um, this like ownership thing. Okay, so that's interesting because I was just like, yeah, you gotta take ownership of your city and your community and your town and like have some pride in it and take care of it, which I think is true. But I guess it's important to remember, too, is to not get too hung up on it and Twitter-pated about it because it, it changes and you're not going to be here forever. And if you're going to take ownership of it and responsibility for it, it should be, as the indigenous people say, for like seven generations after you. Because what you do is temporary. And the people who come after you are the ones that get to deal with the things that you've done in your life. And the things that they do or the things that their children have to deal with in their lives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the ownership should be more, I, I guess, less ownership and more good stewardship. 
That's kind of what I'm taking from this meditation today. And the thing about the small boy who's driving the ducks to the lake, um, where are the ducks? Who are we letting drive us? And even the people that are driving us, um, they are also under this illusion of the control that someone else has over them. That would be a good thing to pose to some of the people that are driving individual humans into horrible situations in our country. Like, why are you doing this? Do they really have control over you? Are they really making you do this to these other people? Just a question. <clears throat> anyway, um, those are our daily meditations. I'll probably get to some book reviews here in the nearest future, but um, I just wanted to think a little bit more about what I want to say about these books. They've been very interesting, and I hope you have a good day. I love you. Bye-bye.